he paid a visit to the so-called killing fields. The brother of one of the handful of Westerners slain by the Khmer Rouge is back in Cambodia ahead of a landmark war crimes verdict. Rob Hamill gazed at the skulls exhumed from grave pits on display in a Buddhist religious building. His brother Kerry had been tortured and killed more than 30 years ago in Cambodia's notorious S-21 prison, among the estimated 16,000 held there before being executed. Kerry had been 28 when his yacht fell into the hands of Cambodian authorities in 1978. Rob said no matter what the court decides in the case of prison commander Gangek Iu, better known as Doik, there will never be justice for his family back in New Zealand. I, 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 you know, the justice to me is, I don't know, I can't quite reconcile um, how justice can ever be served uh, with, the, with the nature and the, and the way these people's lives were taken. Last year, Hamill spoke at Doik's trial, the only Westerner to do so as a victim. This is the story of an innocent man. He said confronting the former prison commander in court has helped him deal with his grief, but he still can't find forgiveness for his brother's killer. He does, however, think Kerry would approve of airing things in public. I think he would be very proud of what we're trying to do as a family to represent him after 30 years of um, our own family kind of suppressing it and not talking about what happened. A UN-backed tribunal is set to issue its first verdict Monday against Doik. He faces a maximum sentence of life in prison if found guilty of war crimes and crimes against humanity. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.